Hi there. I'm Kim McCaffrey, the onboarding manager here at Listing Mirror. If you're not familiar with the term onboarding, it describes the process by which a new user or customer becomes proficient in an application. In this case, the application is Listing Mirror, and our shared goal is for you to become proficient in using our platform to achieve your e commerce business goals. We'll be covering a lot in your onboarding call, so to make sure we're able to cover everything you'll need to get started, there are a few things you'll need to take care of to jumpstart the process. Listing Mirror is a SKU based system, meaning we're able to track and sync quantities across marketplaces using a product SKU or stock keeping unit. When managing inventory, e commerce businesses typically use the same SKU across sales channels, but this isn't always the case. If you're coming to Listing Mirror with products that are already listed on multiple marketplaces, take some time to verify your SKUs are the same. If you find SKUs that do not match across sales channels, you'll need to make those updates now or use our process for linking listings after your marketplaces have been integrated with Listing Mirror and your inventory has been imported. This may seem daunting at first, but in order to set yourself up for success, it is a critical step. When you first sign into Listing Mirror, your account isn't live syncing yet. We do this to give you a chance to confirm a few things and make updates before going live. Listing Mirror will be importing your products, prices, listing details, and if the SKUs match across marketplaces, your quantities will automatically sync as well. But to prevent negatively impacting your listings on a marketplace, Listing Mirror won't start sharing data with those marketplaces until you click the Start Syncing button which will be added to your Listing Mirror account during our onboarding call. So feel free to explore and look around. To start setting up your account, integrate your marketplaces starting with Amazon, since this will be the market data used to build the foundation of your products across marketplaces. From your dashboard, go to Integrations, Manage Integrations, and Connect a new integration. Select each marketplace and follow the steps for entering your credentials. When you're done, the marketplaces will be added to your Manage Integrations page and Listing Mirror will begin the importing process. Next, each marketplace has unique settings you'll need to configure for your business. On the Manage Integrations page, select a marketplace. We'll review the settings you select during our meeting and your Listing Mirror account isn't live syncing, so do your best and don't worry if we need to make changes later. For our starter, inventory, and full plan subscribers, You'll first want to tell Listing Mirror how you'd like to fulfill each order that's received on the marketplace. For example, Merchant Fulfillment, Amazon FBA, or both. If needed, you can even add additional warehouses by going to Inventory, Show Inventory Sources. If your fulfillment workflow for this marketplace includes any type of merchant fulfilled orders, you'll need to select or enter the handling time that works for you. Moving on to Inventory and the option to update quantities. In the case of FBA inventory, Amazon will automatically update quantities in Listing Mirror. For all other marketplaces, select Update Quantity to have Listing Mirror update quantities on this marketplace automatically. In other words, unless you're using another third-party software tool to monitor and update quantities, you'll want to select this option. Our Max Quantity and Holdback Quantity options can be useful for a variety of reasons, but often Max Quantity is used by merchants selling on eBay due to the limitations on the number of listings or total quantities a seller is allowed to have listed at any given time. For example, if you have 25 widgets in stock, you can set a maximum quantity of two. As the widgets are sold, Listing Mirror will continue to replenish the quantity available on the marketplace until all 25 widgets have been sold. The eBay integration is unique in that it requires you to set default business policies in Listing Mirror that correspond with the business policies you've already set in your eBay Seller Hub. If you find the shipping, payment, and return profile menus are empty, you'll need to head over to eBay and set your business policies there. Listing Mirror will automatically recognize that new information is available and will import the business policies you've set in eBay. Once that's done, select each policy here and save changes. Before our onboarding call, you'll also want to decide how you'd like to control pricing for each marketplace. If you'll be manually updating prices for this marketplace, you shouldn't select Use External Price. On the other hand, if you'd prefer the prices on this marketplace to automatically match your prices set on Amazon or another feed, select Use External Price. 
By making sure your product and variation SKUs match across sales channels, your marketplace integrations are customized for your business, and if applicable, your eBay business policies are set, you'll be ready to expand and manage your e-commerce business across multiple marketplaces. We look forward to meeting with you. In the meantime, if you have any questions, our knowledge base, training center, and YouTube channel are great places to start.